Lasun is leader in lighting and electrical test instruments. Hello everyone, this is Daisy. Let me introduce to you the installation and use of the HVRLS Horizontal Vertical Flame Tester. The following is the video catalog. 1. Packing list. 2. Preparation. 3. Flame test. 4. Q&A. Please check the packing list when you receive the shipment. The equipment and all accessories are in one wooden box. Open the wooden box and take out the equipment and all accessories. This is the HVRLS Horizontal Vertical Flame Tester. The accessory box contains, exhaust pipe, residue collector, gauge, thermocouple, igniter, potassium permanganate, spare fuse, remote control, power cord, cotton. There is also a plastic bag in the package that contains a CD, calibrate certificates, and guarantee cards. There are user manual, operation video, and related standards in the CD. Customers need to prepare methane gas with a purity of 99.9%. .9%. Connect the gas to the equipment. Connect the exhaust pipe from the exhaust vent to the outdoors. Put water in the U-tube to check the back pressure. A small amount of potassium permanganate can be placed in the U-shaped tube water for facilitate observation. Connect the equipment power cord to a 220V 50Hz power supply. Generally, 50 watt flame or 500 watt flame is required for testing. Open the gas cylinder. Adjust the secondary relief valve of the gas cylinder to 100 kPa. Turn on the instrument. Touch screen interface. Click Welcome Auto Run to enter the test interface. The four buttons marked with letters on the touch screen program can also be controlled by the letter buttons on remote during operation. Click here to modify the test mode, there are two modes, auto and manual. Set the test mode to manual during the adjustment. Adjust the 50 watt flame. Check the flow meter to make sure that it is open. Click ignition. The gas of Bunsen burner is ignited. Adjust this knob of the Bunsen burner to adjust the back pressure. At the same time continue to adjust the flow meter. According to the standard, the gas flow needs to be 105 ml per minute. The back pressure needs to be 10 mm. These two parameters will affect each other, and the two parameters need to be adjusted together. Adjust the knob of the Bunsen burner to adjust the flame height and color according to the standard. The 50 watt flame is a 20 mm blue flame. After the adjustment, you can go to step 2.2 for temperature rise test or step 3 for flame test. Adjust the 500 watt flame. The steps for adjusting the flow meter and the back pressure are the same. According to the standard, the gas flow of the 500 watt flame needs to be 965 milliliter per minute. And the back pressure needs to be 125 millimeters. Then adjust the flame height and color according to the standard. After adjustment, you can proceed to step 3 for the flame test. Note, if you are continuously performing 50 watt or 500 watt flame test, you do not need to readjust the flame. Just continue the test. After the 50 watt flame adjustment, click reset to turn off the gas. Plug the thermocouple to the reserved port in the chamber. The touch screen will display the temperature. Enter the parameter set interface. Make sure that the start temp is 100 degrees Celsius and the end temp is 700 degrees Celsius. Adjust the position of the Bunsen burner and the thermocouple as shown in the figure according to the standard. Then move the Bunsen burner to left side. The test mode is still manual. Click the screen ignition. Then move the flame to the thermocouple. The touch screen shows that the temperature is starting to rise. 
The timer starts when it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. The timer stops when the temperature reaches 700 degrees Celsius. The temperature rising time should be 45 seconds according to the standard, and the error should be less than 1 second. After the temperature rise test, click reset to cut off the gas. Adjust the position of the Bunsen burner and the sample according to the horizontal flame test standard. Put the cotton on the residue collector. Enter the parameter set interface. Set the ignition time, burning time, after flame time and after glow time according to the standard. If continuous testing is required, set interval time and continue times. Here is an example of 5 continuous tests. Set the test mode to auto. Click start. The Bunsen burner fires automatically and the timer starts. After each burning time ends, you can click after flame pause, after glow pause to record after flame time and after glow time. Set continue times to 1 if you do single flame test. Adjust the position of the Bunsen burner and the sample according to the vertical flame test standard. Other settings and operations are the same as the horizontal flame test. Click test record. You can check all the previous test data here. Methane gas with a purity of 99.9% .9 is required for horizontal and vertical flame test according to the standard. Ordinary gas tanks cannot achieve this purity. If the gas purity is not up to standard, there is no pressure display. During the transportation of the equipment, the position of the igniter and Bunsen burner may shift. Please fine-tune the position of the igniter and try to ignite again. In addition, if the ambient temperature is too low, the ignition will not be smooth. Then you can also use the manual test mode and use the handheld igniter to ignite. Thanks for watching.